Today on The Way of Ramen, we're trying out an extremely highly rated instant ramen hack that I found somewhere on Japanese YouTube. It's got some really weird ingredients, but it turns out pretty good, so stay tuned. So I watch a lot of Japanese cooking videos on YouTube, and this recipe popped into my feed from this channel called Harapeko Kurizuri. And while watching the video, I was kind of like, it's kind of gross, it's probably not very good, until I started reading the comments, which were overwhelmingly positive, so I decided to give it a try. The main ingredient for this is obviously instant ramen, but specifically Sapporo Ichiban miso flavored instant ramen. You're also going to need some Japanese mayo, this is QP brand, one clove of grated garlic, which I think I could actually put a little bit more than one clove in there, and one raw egg. So we're gonna take all these ingredients and then add them directly into a bowl. So one egg, the grated garlic, and about one tablespoon of Japanese mayo. And to that, we're gonna add the soup packets from the instant ramen. So Sapporo Ichiban Miso Ramen has the flavor packet plus the spice packet. So I'm just gonna add both in here. Then just mix everything together and then set the bowl on the side. The rest of the way is kind of standard instant ramen cooking. I'm just going to follow the noodle cooking instructions on the package. So 500 milliliters of water to a boil and then cook the noodles for 3 minutes. Then once your noodles are cooked, you're just going to pour the water from the pot, holding the noodles back and then mix everything together to make your soup. And then once you have your soup mixed together, you can add your noodles and your toppings. So I went with some bean sprouts that I boiled for two minutes. Don't add raw bean sprouts to your ramen, guys. And I also added some of that fancy green onions that I just figured out how to cut. Uh, if you watched the previous video, I was really excited about that. I didn't think anybody was going to watch that video, but evidently people like it. So yeah, that's how to do that if you want to check that out. But that is your simple but very weird Sapporo Ichiban Miso Ramen hack. And now to be honest, I was pretty skeptical when I first saw the recipe because I mean, who puts mayonnaise in their ramen? Not to mention the whole Adam Ragusea thing, putting the egg in the bowl, not in the pot. But to be honest, this thing was actually pretty good. Uh, it still tastes like instant ramen, but the egg and the mayo give it what Japanese people call koku. And koku is a weird amorphous phrase thrown around the Japanese culinary world. I think even a lot of Japanese people don't really know what it means. But if I were to try to explain it, I would kind of describe it as a feeling of mouthfulness that also spreads the flavor around your mouth. I don't know, it's kind of a weird concept. I've been thinking more and more about making a series on this channel called The Science of Ramen where we can explore some of these more esoteric topics like kokumi, umami, noodle making and stuff. So I don't know, maybe that's something that we can do in the future and it can have its own video. Anyways, I give this instant ramen hack a solid 8.5 out of 10. It doesn't really change the flavor of the instant ramen, so to speak, but the additional koku does make it much more delicious than a regular standard instant ramen. So I will definitely eat this again, especially with the boiled bean sprouts. Again, don't, please, please, please don't add raw bean sprouts to your ramen. Anyways, thank you all for your support and for watching this video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.